Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, here's Van Amsen with another live coding session. Today we have a minimum cost to connect all points, a daily lead code challenge. And if you're interested in algorithm, graph theory, and Python, uh, so this episode is for you. So we are going to delve deep into a fascinating problem, finding the minimum cost to connect all points in a 2D plane. And this is a classical problem in graph theory, and it's a great way to get uh, hands of a Prim's algorithm. So, and what's make it special? So the real world application in example, networking, also transportation and many other domain. So, uh, and also it's a great way to learn a graph algorithm in Python. And we will also mention uh, in the description below uh, other implementation in Rust, Go, C++, and uh, much more in the uh, video description below. So, uh, given uh, a list of points on 2D plane, uh, our task is to find the minimum cost to connect all points such that any points can reach any other points directly or uh, indirectly. And the cost between two points is the Manhattan distance uh, between uh, them. So uh, let's look at example. So it's dark, so not really visible, but uh, yeah, those points are 0, 0, uh, 2, 2, 3, 10, 5, 2, and 7, 0. And the minimum cost to connect all these points uh, is 20. So yeah, let's uh, see. So if we connect all those points. So uh, total connection is uh, 20. Uh, and uh, yeah, so those here, for example, is 0, 0, and so on. So uh, you understand the task. So basically, a task is quite simple, but implementation is uh, really interesting. So I will solve this problem using prim algorithm in Python, but we will also uh, touch Kruskal algorithm in uh, next episode. Uh, so uh, what exactly is a prim algorithm? So prim algorithm is a powerhouse in the graph theory world. So it's a greedy method that helps us find a minimum spanning tree for a weighted connected graph. And uh, in simple term, it's the most efficient way to connect all the nodes, four points uh, in our case, together with the list cost. So why use prim algorithm also? So uh, while uh, there are other algorithms like uh, Kruskal uh, that serve the same purpose, prim is especially useful when you have graph that's already connected. So it's typically faster and easier to implement uh, for such particular uh, scenario as in our uh, case. So the first step is to select a starting point. And in our problem, it uh, could be any points on the 2D plane. And we will initialize its distance to zero and put it into priority queue or minimum heap. So why minimum heap? The minimum heap allow us to efficiently find uh, the next point to uh, visit, which is the one uh, with the smallest distance or cost to connect. So, uh, and as we progress, we will pop uh, nodes or points in our case with the minimum distance from the heap. And we then flag uh, it as visited. And for every unvisited neighbors a point, we calculate the Manhattan distance uh, to it and update our heap and distance tracking dictionary, heap dictionary. And uh, yeah, so we will also use Python dictionary to keep track of smallest known distance to each node. And this is crucial because as we update distances, some heap uh, entries might become stale or outdated as well. So uh, if we didn't manage the heap efficiently, we would end up with a much slower uh, algorithm, uh, yeah, defeating the purpose of using prim in the first place. Uh, so also uh, every time we pop a point from the heap, it means uh, we have visited uh, it uh, 
in the most efficient manner uh, possible and we add its distance to uh, a running total so which gives us the minimum cost to connect all points once the algorithm uh, is done so all right and after all, let's get our uh, hand uh, into coding so uh, first thing first uh, let's implement uh, manhattan distance so uh, manhattan p1 uh, list of int p2 list of int uh, output int and return absolute p1 p2 plus absolute p1 absolute p2 okay so we have uh, our manhattan uh, distance and function is a simple yet crucial piece that calculate the cost between two points based on uh, their uh, coordinates so next we delve into the core of our solution so minimum cost uh, point connected point cost of connected points a function uh, and uh, here we will see the minimum heap visited array and our uh, handy heap dictionary so we start with n len points and visited uh, false times n and heap dictionary zero zero and zero and minimum heap will be zero zero so uh, mst weights uh, will be zero and while minimum hip uh, wu hip pop minimum hip uh, and if visited u or hip uh, get u uh, float infinity less than w continue And uh, notice the role of uh, visited array and the hip uh, dict. Uh, they work uh, in tandem to make sure we are not doing unnecessary work, thereby keeping our algorithm efficient and also snappy. So visited u will be true and mst weight plus our w or uh, v in range of n if not visited w oh, yeah. uh, new distance equal uh, manhattan manhattan distance point and point v okay and now if uh, new distance distance yeah less than uh, hip distance get v float infinity uh, hip dict v new distance and hip push minimum hip and new distance and finally we return MST uh, weights. So, uh, and there you have it. Uh, with these uh, pieces in place, we arrive at the minimum cost to connect all points. So, uh, let's test it to verify it's working. So, yeah, all work perfectly for given test cases. So, a previously mentioned example uh, output 20. All good. So, uh, now let's uh, dive into understanding time and space complexity. So time complexity here is uh, O uh, n square uh, uh, log n and mainly uh, yeah, dominant by heap operation and uh, distance uh, calculation. So it's still quite good. And the space complexity is O n for storing the heap and other data structures. So uh, let's submit it for unsynthesis cases to verify uh, if it's working also for unsynthesis cases. So yeah, all good. And as you can see, it's uh, yeah, 
we beat 94% with respect to memory and also uh, 93, uh, 49 uh, for runtime. So it's quite uh, efficient. And as you can see, so with respect to memory, it's really interesting because our implementation took just 20 milliseconds. And like here is a, a quite big cluster and it's around 84 uh, megabytes. And here is also big cluster of 177 uh, megabytes. So uh, yeah, comparing to this one, uh, four time less uh, memory. So it's due to Prima algorithm and our implementation, obviously. So uh, uh, that's all uh, for today. Uh, so I hope uh, you successfully solved a today problem using Prim algorithm in Python, or uh, if you're interested in uh, other languages like Go, Rust, C++, check the video description uh, below. So the logic remain uh, the same, but uh, syntax may be uh, different. And if you found this session helpful. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more uh, content, uh, tutorials, challenges, machine learning, uh, technology and much more. And in uh, yeah, our next episode, we will be exploring uh, more uh, graph algorithms, uh, including uh, Kruskal algorithm. So until next time, keep practicing, stay motivated. Happy coding.